government-sponsored Jumpstart program officially launched today. There are 72 Bahamians who can say that they got their start through the program, which looks to turn ordinary Bahamians, 30 and over, into business persons. The trade-off for the government, the enhancement of the tourism experience, and by extension, the growing of the economy through job creation. Prime Minister Ingram officially launched the program during a brief ceremony at the Sheraton Resort today. Our Shanique Miller is live from there where, where the ceremony just wrapped up. Hello, Shanique. Keishna, the government's Jumpstart program is now official, launched moments ago right here in this ballroom at the Sheraton Resort here in Cable Beach. And what it means now is this evening, 72 Bahamians here in New Providence as well as Grand Bahama have letters and monies in hand and are ready to do business. Here's Prime Minister Ingram at the launch only moments ago. Go to the medium and long-term economic health of our economy that we facilitate the growth of Bahamian entrepreneurs and small businesses. That is why we provided $5,000 in grant funding for young Bahamians under the age of 30 years to have an opportunity to start their own businesses through self-starters. Through Jumpstart, we are providing seed money for those of you who are 30 years of age or older. We are helping to jumpstart your ideas and help to give you wings for your imagination. But in the end, success will be determined by your own hard work, your resilience, and your capacity for organization and innovation, your dependability, your honesty, and your reliability. In these programs, self-starters, national jobs readiness, and skills training, and now jump starts, Bahamians can see, touch, feel, and receive the tangible benefits of the policies of my government. We, know that we don't just talk about caring or believing in you, we act and we deliver. We are doing our part and I urge you like to do your part. Very, very I urge you also so as to ensure that you are successful. Watching this program that was carried live just moments ago at Pelican Bay in Grand Bahama. I can give you a breakdown of the numbers. Uh, in New Providence there are 47 people who have been successful so far in having their applications approved. In Grand Bahama 25. Now by June of this year Prime Minister Ingram announced that a total of 200 people will be participants in this program. Uh, as it stands today uh, $530,000 have been invested in the program in the 72 people that have been approved thus far and of course a total of 1.5 million dollars has been allocated to fund this program of course jumpstart acts as seed money uh, to help persons uh, develop their dreams and their ideas of starting a business a business of course in the tourism industry of course in helping diversify the product that we have to offer to our visitors and of course Kishla some very very proud business owners are here this evening they have stuck behind us um, um, for the last 10 minutes just to share their joy number one of being recipients and participants in this program what's your name Anastasia Johnson Anastasia first of all just describe for me and the country your thoughts of being one of the recipients and the applications being approved um, through the Ministry of Finance in this program well I consider myself blessed and very very happy very very excited Mm -hmm. And of course, I see you are wearing your business in the shell craft that you have here at your neck and also your arm piece. Tell us a bit about your business. Um, I make, nat I use native products from both the land and the sea, um, shell crafting, straw, um, I intertwine everything together mm -hmm. and um, that's pretty much it. What does it mean to be empowered this way, to be a young woman in your 30s, um, who, of course, <laughs> who owns your own business now? And, of course, you have your letter in hand to prove it. Well, I'm really happy that the government um, took it on hand to really invest in us, give us an opportunity, you know, to have a dream and not have the financial backing. You know, the opportunity I am so thankful for and I'm excited and I'll see where it takes me with the help of God. Congratulations and good luck. We're quickly going to talk to another lady here now who also has her letter in hand, and I'm, I'm thinking of she may have a business on her arm. Uh, first, what is your name? My name is Sonia Roll. Sonia, congratulations. Tell us, first of all, about your thoughts about being one of the uh, successful applicants to be a part of the Jumpstart program. Well, it's exciting, and I'm glad to be here, and I know that this is only a divine inspiration from God. So I'm grateful to the government for allowing us to, you know, expand our business and be able to get out there and bring our product to life. Uh -huh. And of course, give us a sort of a brief, brief description about your, your business. Okay, my business deals with straw craft, also shell jewelry. Mm -hmm. I like to use things right here found locally mm -hmm. that can 
bring a taste of the Bahamas to anywhere you go in the world. Of course, thank you very, very much, and good luck to you. Congratulations. Thanks for sharing your story with us. Uh, the Prime Minister, of course, gave uh, persons like this lady here and the other, and of course, the 72 gathered this evening. Business tips. Imagine that, getting business tips on how to successfully operate your business from the nation's leader. It was very, very nice to see. And of course, there's so much more to share with you. We will, of course, do that uh, tomorrow, Keishla. But for now, that's what's happening right here at Sheraton Resort. Back to you. Well, thanks a lot, Shanice.